So now we can actually properly begin the dating sim. It's newest update, you know, update 1.1, 1. 1, uh, the dorms, I guess, because I added, you know, nighttime, dream sequence, and uh, sitting in your bed. There's a bed sequence now. I think when we first played, we did a Yule run. Oh, I think we're going to do a Adler run this time. So let's, let's get started. Time for Kobe's narration. After seemingly countless cycles, your voyage has finally come to an end. No, it's not my trackpad. The Penrose has sustained heavy damage from the crash landing. You doubt it will ever sail the stars again. A lone survivor, unknown if officer or replica. An unknown voice emerged from behind, causing you to jerk back in shock. You brace yourself in a panicked manner, unaware if the voice belonged to a friend or a foe. A crashed Penrose exploratory vessel as well? The figure walked past you, seemingly already forgotten about your existence. It's almost as if they cared more about writing down a report than your well-being. The figure turns around. Despite the golden visor obscuring their face, you can feel their eyes walking on yours. Be at ease, you have nothing to fear, assuming you are a loyal member of the nation. Now state your reason for being here. Uh, let's be nice to Adler this time. Our ship's reactor started failing. We, I, we, crashed here after a few cycles. We crashed here a few cycles after it finally died. I can't read. You look down on the ground, trying to avoid the smoldering wreckage of the Penrose. The memory of the crash still fresh in your mind. Your role in the crash has been duly noted. This mistake will be on your permanent record. Where is the Elster unit assigned to you? The... she didn't make it. I see. Well then, I can't exactly leave you out in the cold, can I? Would you like to come in? Let's go with... yes. Let's be nice to Adler. Welcome to S-23, our humble widow facility. Hmm? Who is this, Commander? This is a gestalt, lost gestalt pilot who crashed on the planet. Oh, well, nice to meet you. I'm Siona. And I'm Arion. Oh, well, let's try to be friends. For now, we should try to find you a dorm to stay in. You follow Adler? No, it's Rizzo. Bioresonance. I go to the star dorm. Bioresonance. You want to what? No, that is not possible. Let me lead you to a place you can stay for now. Lead you to a dorm room before exiting within... You see a small little replica. Oh, a new gestalt. It's been a while since we had one of you here. I'm Mars, and I'm Ariane. You will give you a big smile before jumping up on her bed. Okay, you come in at an interesting time. It's almost time for the factory-wide, facility-wide prom. Totally not a stolen idea from Monster Prom. Everyone is busy running around trying to find a date to take. Hopefully you can find one too. Do you have anyone in mind so far? Mm, I think you're cute. The Yule smiles. Aw, thank you. Well, regardless, you're going to need to get them to ask you to the prom, which is only a few days away. So good luck. And just because you're cute doesn't mean I'll ask you just yet. For now, I think you should take a look around the facility. Where do you want to go? All right, classrooms, library, cafeteria. Let's go to classrooms first. You arrive in the classrooms. You look around and see a tall, stoic replica staring at the blackboard. I pray God will curse the writer, as the writer has cursed the world with his beautiful, stupendous creation. She notices your presence and turns to look at you. A visitor. Who are you? Arian, a new gestalt. Thank you for getting straight to the point. State your purpose. Um, I'm just an explorer. Well, I'm sure you've been finding everything up to par. Folks seem to be disinterested in talking to you further. You, f you figure it's about time that you leave. Where do you go? Let's go to the cafeteria. You arrive in the cafeteria. Looking around the cafeteria, you see that star from earlier. Oh, hey, it's you. I didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Guess you're hungry? Yeah, what is there to eat? Food is food. Isn't like a home-cooked meal, though. What is that supposed to mean? I'm the cook for today. Don't take any offense. The food just isn't, isn't good. Phew, I can't read. Why are you so mean? Here, try this. She pushes a spoon of swab in your mouth. It tastes... Let's be indecisive. You, you are bad at making choices. See, she's silent. She likes it. Sure, whatever you want to think. You are bad at making choices, yet you are playing a VN. Curious lifestyle you follow. You have a feeling that if you spend any more time around these two, a fight will start. Where do you go next? To the library. You arrive in the library. 
Entering into the library, you hear a heavy sigh. Instinctively, for some reason, you hop behind a shelf and peek around to see the source. This is noted at all. Between the gestalt landing here and the commander's strange behavior lately, the whole facility is in a buzz. He puts his head in his hands. It's not as though I hate. It's not as though I hate her. It's just I want things to go back to how it was. How what was? Oh, you were listening. In the past, this facility was different. Now something is wrong. What's wrong? That's the thing. I don't even know. If that doesn't concern you, why are you here? Why are you here? I, I like Calibris. Calibris are rather cool little friends, aren't they? He seems to be thinking fondly of someone. Well, regardless, you have spent enough time here. Go now and bother someone else. Alright, back to the dorm. You're walking down the hallway when you see Mars. Hey, it's been a long day, so have you found that a date yet? Alright, so we got Adler, that's Star. We can riz up the Yule. I feel like we did the Yule run last time, so let's, let's do Adler. Um, okay. Not gonna judge what you're into, I guess. What is going on here? The new Gestalt says she likes you. Hmm, and keep this idle chatter to yourselves. No, we couldn't riz up Adler. No, we failed. We didn't get enough points. <laughs> you and Mars return to the dorm. She motions for you to take a bottom bunk on a bed while she jumps up top. So how was your first day at S23? Um, hmm. It honestly could have gone better. Back home, hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully tomorrow is better. Is there anything I can do to help? I guess she's already tried to help us out, so, yeah, don't worry about it. She seems sad that you didn't enjoy your day, but she gives the hint that you don't want her help. She lays down on her pillow and begins to just talk. If you ever need any help, just let me know. I know sometimes things can be hard and people can bully you. But if we stick together, no one can, will bother us. I just know it. Suddenly, you hear a muffled sound from the wall. At first, it's faint, but it's certainly there and certainly getting louder. Scared, you back up in anticipation. Then, the panels of the wall slide open, and climbing out of the vents is none other than an aura unit. Hey, y'all, what y'all be talking about? Oh, no, it's her. Well, could you kindly be normal? This new gestalt won't understand you if you talk like that. A new gestalt? By heavens, bless your heart. Welcome to S23. The name's Bolt. I hope we end up being good friends. Arion, be careful around her. She's known to be quite the rumor mill. Who, me? Nah, sister. I ain't ever spill no tea on no one. These lips be sealed at a frozen lake on the first day of January. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> sure. You believe me, new kid? Did just meet you by gossiping is wrong. Both sides seem unhappy with your complete indecisive decision you've made. But after a few seconds, their dislike of each other seems to erase your statement. So I've been traveling around the vents lately, and apparently Falk has been acting strange. The commander? How so? She's just been talking to herself, saying strange things that sound like poems. I don't really understand it myself, but it's got Adler all sorts of worried. Oh, I hope everything is okay with her. Well, it's about time for us to head to bed. Yeah, yeah me too. Nice talking to you two. Sleep well. Sleep well, Arion. You slowly drift off to sleep. How long has it been now? That you've let yourself just forget. A day so long ago. And words you meant to say. You reach out for answers. Yet find only questions. Memory plays over in your head. What was it ever yours to begin with? She sat there. Humming your song as her machinery failed. Her last thoughts of a dance long gone and of a song she can no longer sing. Slowly the black erased her thoughts. But the notes persisted, a stubborn melody that refused to fold. Blank may have been alone in her final moments, but the warmth of this memory reminded her. Even now, she was loved. Yet here you are daring to forget its notes. You've forgotten the tune to a song that you wrote. For that, you are a selfish monster. All right. Finny Finny, the new ending. Let's go. Update 1.1, 1.1, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dream sequence, peak, peak.